Hi YouTubers, I'm out in the goat pen. It's going to be a very hot day today and I figured I'd finish up the goats early, um, put my milk away, a couple quarts today. But what I really need to do is make some more of their herb warmer. I use Holger's warmer. It's a powder of herbs. It will not become um, resistant and it's really great. I mix it in with a little molasses. I'm a little bit out. <laughs> it's about the last of it, so let's make that up because on Sundays they get a worm treat. <laughs> Be back. Alrighty. Milk's in the fridge. Goats are out of my barn. Okay. So let me show you how I make up my warmer for my goats. I use Holber's um, Herbal Warmer. Now, it comes in a plastic bag. I save some of my oatmeal containers and put, um, put it in here. It's a powder. I have to bring the camera close so you can see it. But it's a powder. Um, and it works really well. So I'll fill up a couple of these by a couple pound bag. So let me show you what I got. Okay, let's see if this fuel works. I have this... Uh, uh, a plastic lid because this is gets kind of sticky a bowl a plastic knife and then my whole gross warmer that I put in my like I said old oatmeal container it is a powder form and I am missing oh a teaspoon just a minute all right trusty teaspoon now whole gross warmer is an all-natural alternative to chemical use in goats. A lot of livestock has been so, um, well, it, it just doesn't work anymore. It's just overuse. So I've, I've been using this now since I've had goats and it's been working wonderful. Now one to one and a half teaspoon um, of this powdered warmer is one dose per adult goat. So that's what I start with. Okay, so just for today, I'm going to make five doses. Normally, I'll make up um, enough to make 48 teaspoons. Um, which is about be one cup of the warmer, but today we're just going to use five teaspoons. Enough molasses to cover. Now, this is where it gets really sticky. So I'm going to start with about a tablespoon and stir really quickly to mix this in. I keep adding that until it becomes a nice good dough. And molasses doesn't like to suck up <laughs> things, so you have to squish it really well. And then it turns into what looks like chocolate. If it's really gooey, I add a little bit more warmer, which is why I start with a teaspoon, because as I mentioned, it's one to one and a half teaspoon for a dosage. It doesn't have to be super accurate. So I'm going to add, and I go by five, so I add another five. Is that five? I just forgot. Okay. So now I have 10 doses if I just go by the one teaspoon. I'm going to add in another teaspoon or so. really quick to do and it's well worth it. Reasonable price too. And I have not had an issue with any type of parasites with my goats. Alright, now it's nice and crumbly. Still a little bit on the wet side, but not gooey, so I will be able to touch this. Since this warmer is pretty um, forgiving, I will take a little bit extra 
and I'm going to use it kind of like I'm like a like a dusting flower because like I said this can be kind of gooey okay and what I want to do is roll this into a nice little tube okay dust that a little bit just to make it playable looks like you're playing with mud. <laughs> okay. What I like to do is go ahead and there we go. There we go. As long as it's workable where it's not too sticky on your hands. If so I just dip it. And I roll it into an even long oh, there we go. Rope. Once I get into this little rope, then I'll divide it equal parts. Now I mentioned 10 teaspoons. If I wanted to go on the half side, then I can go a little less. Okay, so I have a nice good little log there. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is put it equal pieces. So since I know there's 10 teaspoons here, um, I could cut that in half and be more for uh, the dosage, but we're going to go with 10 for the day. So I just want to make sure where my middle is, and I just kind of fold it, and there's my center. So I know this is going to be five pieces. I give a quick little roll and a dusting. Don't mind the noise there, that's my solar panel. Okay, so I have my fan going. But I know this is going to be five pieces, so five even pieces. Yeah, let's do this again. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three, nope. There we go. So five good pieces. Now these would be great since it is at the one teaspoon for a kid that's two months old or older. They can get a quarter to a half teaspoon. So I can split these in half one more time and I've got my dosage for my kids. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a couple right now. And that will be my dose for my girls. I just roll them back out. Then I will make a whole bunch of these. Give them a good dusting so they don't stick together. And then I put them in a container and I've got a good amount for several months. When you first start out, the directions from Hover's mentions to dose three days straight and then once a week. And that's what I'll do. Go ahead and give them a dose. It's a spring. Um, I have to do fecal checks and monitor everyone. And then, um, but in the meantime, they'll get some of those. All right. So I'll go ahead and do this. So this would have been five doses at the one teaspoon mark. I'm just going to do that so my adults have some here. One, two, three, four, five. It looks pretty even. All right.
that's all. So you can make as many or a few as you need. It doesn't take too much molasses. Um, you know, depending on how much of a batch you make at once. But I found this wonderful. Um, using the molasses, they really think this is a treat. So every Sunday, which is my habit to make sure every Sunday um, I worm my goats. But every Sunday they, they look forward to a treat. Um, I've not found it uh, useful using peanut butter. Um, they completely avoid this if you dump the powder into their feed. <laughs> and you'll have all their feed gone and then the powder's all at the bottom. So making it into little dough balls or molasses balls has been great. So there you go. Alright, so that's how I make my uh, goat treats, which is actually just a goat warmer. Works great. And I don't have any issues with my goats. So I want to get out of this farm because it's pretty warm. Even the goats aren't in here. So <laughs> I'll catch you later. Bye. It's got a friend in here. Hi, Bertie. <laughs> 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 <laughs>